What is that? What is that made out of? Some angel hair. Oh. Angels. Country diva Carrie Underwood made her permanent move from Oklahoma to Tennessee after winning American Idol back in 2005. At first, she bought a more modest house in Franklin, spanning around 3,000 square feet of space, but she's since upgraded her real estate portfolio. Once she married Mike Fisher, the couple moved to a luxury million dollar home in Brentwood, while these days, the couple built their dream home from the ground up on 400 acres of land. Now, at this estate, Carrie lives in the foothills south of Nashville, and their custom family mansion boasts everything from high ceilings to a swimming pool and plenty of room for the horses and cows outside. So let's take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Carrie Underwood is a singer and songwriter who rose to fame after winning the fourth season of American Idol in 2005, and she's definitely one of the most successful winners from the show ever. She has many awards and accomplishments under her belt, and at the time of this recording, an estimated net worth of about $140 million. Before American Idol, Carrie was just a small town Oklahoma girl who had never even been on an airplane before. Once she moved to Tennessee though, there was no looking back. These days, Carrie, her hockey star husband Mike Fisher and their children still live in the same state, only now it's on a sprawling farm-like property with a huge custom mansion. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this time checking out country superstar Carrie Underwood and her Tennessee properties. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. We're gonna kick things off with Carrie's current mansion. In 2011, it was reported that she and Mike scooped up over 400 undeveloped acres of land in the semi-rural suburbs of Nashville, Tennessee. The couple paid about $2.9 million for 354 acres in the foothills south of Nashville and dropped another $350,000 on an attached 50-acre plot to make up that whopping amount of space. Carrie and Mike spent a few years building and constructing their dream home, and by the looks of the exterior, it was well worth it. We don't know the exact details or measurements of the mega mansion, but as you can see, it's huge. It looks to be built in a modern farmhouse style with a white exterior and wooden brown accents like the roof. There's also a large barn-like building on the adjoining property with its own driveway and an additional smaller structure. This could be a guest house or space for their horses, or both. We do know Carrie's property boasts orchards, cows, and horses. In fact, Mike bought her two cows one Christmas. In 2016, Carrie opened up about the building process of their dream home to country living. She said that her and Mike were designing their forever home, which would have a wood-burning fireplace, a porch swing, and rocking chairs. It seems to me like it has all that and more. They didn't move in until late 2018, and by this time, they'd already welcomed their first son with the second on the way. One of the first to get a look at Carrie's sprawling estate was Oprah Winfrey when the couple showed her the plot of land on the OWN network in 2012. Carrie also said that they set up a cute picnic area and plan to plant many trees here. The mansion is fitted with tons of rooms, a full basement, multiple living areas, bedrooms, bathrooms, and a handful of garages. As for the interior, Carrie has kept things a little more private, but the couple has given fans peeks inside their residence over the years while hanging out with their kids. We can see that Carrie's living room is designed with a beige and gray color scheme as well as wooden touches for a rustic feel. There are plush furnishings like a large cream colored couch as well as a wooden dresser. While celebrating their first Christmas in the home, Mike showed off the living room or great room where we can see high vaulted ceilings, white concrete pillars, and floor to ceiling windows, making for a grand statement. The mansion has hardwood floors throughout accented with patterned rugs to provide a warm and welcoming feel. There are also plenty of fireplaces in the home including a large brick one we've seen in photos. Carrie has an open plan kitchen and dining area and we can see there's a separate breakfast nook too with a long bench and black marble table. This space also has large windows with views of the stunning grounds. The couple's bedroom seems to keep the same muted color scheme as the rest of the home, from what we can see anyways, including a grey chase lounge near a window with doors out to a private terrace. The country star has also shown off her impressive walk-in closet with floor-to-ceiling wardrobes for her clothes, shoes and bags. An island in the middle of the 
closet even boasts a built-in washing machine and dryer for easy laundry days. Carrie has also given a peek at her home gym. Considering all the acres of land, it's no surprise there are private stables for horses and other animals. The couple even has their own lake, which Mike previously showed off in a pic fishing with the boys. Also on the grounds, there's a swimming pool, terraces to entertain, and Carrie has a space in the garden to work out if she feels like doing so al fresco, fitted with rubber floors for weightlifting and training. When Carrie first moved to Nashville, she lived in a slightly more modest, under a million dollar home in Tennessee, but when she and Mike wed, they moved to the area of Brentwood, purchasing a luxe house for $1.35 million in 2007. This house sat at the end of a cul-de-sac in the gated Governor's Club golf community and measured just over 7,000 square feet of space with four beds, four full baths, and two half baths throughout. It was in an affluent suburban neighborhood about 20 miles from downtown Nashville. The exterior of the home was a stone accented beige brick mansion, slightly traditional in style, while inside there were three luxurious floors. The grand double height entrance featured a curved staircase and herringbone patterned stone floors, and it led to the usual fancy common rooms. The foyer opened up to the formal dining room and stepped down to the soaring living room, which had floor to ceiling windows and oak floors underfoot. There was also a carved stone fireplace and velvet drapes, and the nearby kitchen had stainless steel appliances and carved custom cabinets. The island snack bar here opened to the breakfast space and attached family room, which was cozier and more casual, offering a brick fireplace and view of the golf course. Other features in Carrie's former mansion included a library office, a games room, a guest apartment with kitchenette and mirror wall gym. The master suite here was sprawling with a fireplace, luxe attached bath and a custom walk-in closet. Here there was a corkscrew staircase that led down to the basement, which was definitely styled for Carrie. It seemed to be a fancy glam room with heated marble floors, a hair and makeup station, a shoe and handbag area, and a spacious lounge with web bar. While the house sat on just over half an acre of land, there were plenty of outdoor hangout spots, including a patio overlooking the golf course and a planted courtyard. In late 2017, after Carrie underwent a freak accident, a fall right outside this mansion, which left her wrists broken and dozens of stitches in her face, the family was ready to say goodbye to Brentwood. They went to their semi-remote spread in Franklin, a rough Lux barn style home on nearly a thousand acres that seems to act as their vacation retreat. Until that is, they completed building their dream mansion. They listed this Brentwood crib in 2019 for $1.45 million. Well, now we've taken a look at Carrie Underwood's homes, past and present, so I think that brings this house tour to an end. We took a peek at her Nashville custom dream home on 400 acres of land, as well as the Brentwood mansion she lived in just prior. After seeing her lavish escapes in Tennessee, which did you prefer? Her. Was her current mega mansion more your style or her former house in Brentwood? I think her current place is my fave because of all the land that surrounds it, not to mention room for cows and horses. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Carrie's mansions down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!